Hey friends, this is Crystal with Booth Crush. Welcome or welcome back, whether you are new or returning. We share business resources, tips and tricks for booth and store owners. We also have a blog, a Facebook page, a Facebook group. You can find us on Instagram and Pinterest. So come join us. I realize I've waited too late <laughs> to share this, but I'm going to share it anyway, because even if you can implement a few of these ideas or at least use them next year, then great. Um, a lot of us aren't into Valentine's Day. I'm certainly not, but I look at it this way. If you have a booth and customers are going to be coming through looking for certain items, you know, take advantage of the holiday and the opportunity to make a little extra money on your payout at the end of the month. And you don't have to go all crazy and have just all kinds of Valentine's Day decor. It can just be simple things like this heart pendant or these old love letters or the burlap stuffed hearts. Those are things that can still carry over even after Valentine's Day is over, like these little stuffed hearts. These would be perfect any time of the year or these little cute letters that spell out love. I mean, I loved this booth at Kelly and Company. She had these cute heart-shaped brooches that you can wear any time of the year, but she also had, you know, the little cake heart pans and the jewelry boxes and the trinket trays and red glassware and these are all valentine's day items but they can still be carried over even after the holiday is over now one of the things that many shops do is like an event called galentine's day and it doesn't have to be um, crazy elaborate you can just have finger foods some snacks like i've listed here and a lot of places they use different names like this one is Galentine's Day Sip and Shop and then I've seen them just called Sip and Shop and this is for the Hill Antique Market in St. Louis, Missouri. That will be starting tomorrow so if you're in the area and then some people call it Ladies Night, Ladies Night Out. This is their um, flyer from last year. This is the Hill Antique Market also and you know you could just do something simple like that because customers love that kind of stuff and then drawings like Edna from the Heflin Vendors Mall, this is from last year. She did a $25 gift certificate and this box of chocolate. So, you know, if you're a newbie and you have a new shop, you would just set your amount that how much customers have to spend in order to have their name put into the drawing. And then a gift basket would be another idea. This is a $50 gift basket. And if you're a smaller shop, I've heard some dealers and store owners say, well, it's not in the budget to do things like this. Well, if you're a store owner, reach out to your dealers and see if they can donate an item for the gift basket or a couple of dollars for the gift certificate. Like this one was a $25 gift certificate. So it just, you know, helps you kind of absorb the cost if you're a new shop owner and it's not in your budget. And some other things that you can sell in your booth are gift baskets. I want to share one from Kim Brown. She's with the Rustic Market located at River City Antiques in Rome, Georgia. She did the cutest gift baskets and I'm going to let her tell you about them. Happy Valentine's Day, Booth Crush. I was asked to show you how I make my Valentine's baskets for my booth to sell during this time of year. So I've got some little um, samples for you and how I put them together. I think you'll really like these. They're not expensive. I probably don't have over $5 in each one, but they look really special. And so let's get going. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to do the uh, Valentine baskets. You can go to Hobby Lobby or um, Dollar Tree, get cute little baskets. This is like a box, and you can get those baskets at Dollar Tree. But anyway, to do it, just put your tall items in, like that and that. And then you can, um, of course, everybody loves chocolate, so you're going to put some chocolates in. And then I love bath bombs, so we'll put a little bath bomb in right there. So there you have it. That's one gift for somebody and it's really really nice you can order these cellophane bags right here from amazon that come in different sizes or you could go to michael's and pick them up um also let me just show you some cute things really quick i got these at target for three dollars aren't these so cute for kids and you can get all kinds of goodies uh at the at target so guess Happy Valentine's Day and enjoy some of these baskets for your shop. 
I found this picture over on Pinterest and I thought it was a really cute um, gift idea. It has a bottle of sparkling cider and a cute little pink tray and a wine glass and the cellophane bag and all of that stuff you could get at the Dollar Tree. And then the next idea would be a photo booth. This setup right here is from the Dallas Markets and they had a professional photographer come in and do photos. So you could reach out to some of your local photographers to see if they wanted to work with you on something like this. And then here are the sample photos from the sessions that they did. And then if you didn't want to go this route, you could set up your own selfie station like Edna from Heflin Vendors Mall. She did this boho wall, which was really cute. And then people just sat there and did their selfies. And then this backdrop is from Amazon. There's like tons of different backdrops you can get on Amazon or Etsy or other websites. And then I wanted to share these window displays because I know we have a lot of stores that follow us. And this is the flower cart. They're here in town and they just have the cutest windows for the holidays. This one had a glare on it, so I couldn't really get a good shot last night, but I love how they did the, the pink, I mean the red tool down at the bottom with the white lights this year. And then this one is across town. This is another florist. She always does the cutest windows too. And I meant to look last night to see if Betty Boop was a cardboard cutout or if someone had like cut her out with a jigsaw and then painted her. But she had the cute little kissing booth and all the reds and the pinks. And if you didn't want to do something like this, you could certainly go with neutral colors. But this is so cute, especially at night. It's, it's eye-catching when you drive by. And then, um, what was I going to say? I lost my train of thought. Oh, I know not all stores have windows that they can decorate but if you have an area in your shop that you could decorate that would be cute or you could also implement some of these little ideas into your booth space and then when we were on our way to Fayetteville or coming back from Fayetteville we passed this florist they have been in business since 1968 and I'm not sure if that's the original location or not but this huge arch this balloon arch caught my attention and I thought, oh, that would be pretty to like do photos in front of. And the other side was like little teddy bears and stuff. And I think I found that on Pinterest, but I thought that was a cute idea. And this next one. But anyway, just some ideas, and I love this big cutout. Somebody did the word love for the Dallas markets, and it's like life size, and so people stand out there and get their pictures made, and I can't remember if it lights up or not, but it's really cute. But anyway, those are all the ideas that I have, and I'm sorry they were late, but hopefully better late than never. Maybe you can use some next year. So anyway, I will see you guys in the next one.